this video is meant to be the physical explanation of the bicycle wheel demonstration. If you had not watched the demonstration video, it will be linked below. It involves a platform that allows one to be disconnected from the ground, a wheel spinning in the forward direction, and then some demonstrations in the difference between the wheel spinning and when you twist it you somehow turn even when disconnected from the ground versus if you attempt to just twist it without spinning. Here is the top-down view of the same demonstration. To explain what is happening, we are going to treat the turntable and the person as a single object. We are going to take the view where the wheel is in front of the person spinning forward and we are looking at the system from behind. By the right hand rule, the wheel spinning forward means that the angular velocity and hence angular momentum is pointed towards the left. Because initially the person is not spinning and hence they don't have an angular momentum, the total angular momentum of the system is identical to that of the initial angular momentum of the wheel. Remember that the system is isolated from the ground and hence there is no outside torque. Hence, internal to the system, the conservation of angular momentum must apply. When we twist the wheel down to the left, we are changing its angular momentum. The direction of this change is straight down. Because the wheel is connected to the person, while isolated from everything else, the change of angular momentum of the person must compensate for the change 
of angular momentum of the veil. Because the initial angular momentum of the person was zero, hence their final angular momentum must equal this change in angular momentum. The direction is upward and hence by the right hand rule the person on the platform will start rotating to the left. <laughs>